Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, it's me again, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you live from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Yes, sir, my hometown. You ever seen that movie, My Hometown? Well, it's pretty, well, it's actually a play, not necessarily a movie. But anyway, psh, I'm feeling so dumb. I, I was working through my, uh, uh, blog. This is the second take, I'm gonna have to tell you. I was working for, through my blog and I my hand slid down on the wire and I pushed my mute button. So I had to start all over again because I don't know how far along in the blog I was before the mute button got hit. But anyway, this is still going to be blog number 215. So either way, is that right? 215 or 225? I don't know. Hold on. Let me take a look. Yeah, sorry. 225. Yep. Yeah, this is blog number 220. 300. 325. Man, no wonder I can't get it out there. But uh, it's a rough one, too. Because once you've already done 14 minutes of blog, and then you got to try to figure out what you're going to say for the next 14 minutes or 15 minutes. That's the pits. But I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to try to hang in there and, and get things done. Get them done. Good, good, good. I did sing a song a while ago. Oh, what I did do, though, was I, I was sitting there saying that I'm stuck on my TV and I've got um, Three's Company on there and they had a song on there which I was going to sing. But still, the other thing I was going to say, make mention of, was my television. And uh, I'm a really liking my new TV that my kids got me. So I think my kids are keepers. I'm going to keep Cody. I'm going to keep Ashley. And you know what? I'll even keep Dan. So, Dan, if you're listening, which I'm sure you're going to because I'm going to send this to you. If you're listening, we'll, we'll keep you too. So you're in, you're in now. You're one of the family. So don't be thinking that you're going to be... Uh, trying to sneak out anytime soon you're one of us uh oh sorry but it has happened anyway i'm enjoying the tv guys i really appreciate it by the way uh what was i gonna say oh thigh thoo thigh thoo thigh 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 thoo thigh, thigh, thigh. Don't know how to pronounce your name i really wish i did anyway it's uh t-h-u-t-h-u-y I really appreciate the fact that you're on here all the time and you're always liking it and uh, I appreciate that and then um, I also appreciate the fact that you uh, forward them occasionally now uh, Cindy I appreciate the fact that you're always forwarding them so there you go I appreciate 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 and I like to uh, thank everybody that's been watching and been staying in tune with me um i'd like to thank you and and tell you how much i appreciate y'all watching because hey i know it can get monotonous it can sound kind of like the same old same old over and over every day and i hope it doesn't so anyway that being said i'm gonna bring up this song that i sang on the first one because uh they were singing it on this uh Three's company, so here. All right, hold on. I'm gonna see about this. Doop doop doom. Wake up. Song lyrics. Go to sleep. Alright, here we go. You are so beautiful to me. You are so beautiful to me. Can't you see? You're everything I hope for. You're everything I need. You are so beautiful. To me, you 
are so beautiful to me. You are so beautiful to me. Can't you see? You're everything I hope for. You're everything I need. You are so beautiful to me. There, did you? Did I hit that note flat enough? I was trying to because uh, either Joe Cocker done it flat or the guys on um, that tape DOA got it flat. Anyway, me and my ex-wife were somewhere and we got a uh, black, not black market. I don't remember what where we picked this tape up. But anyway, it was a... Uh, um, one that you're not supposed to be able to get here. But anyway, it was like uh, DOA. So, anyway, on that tape, they sang that, and they got a foul note on the back of that one. Tape started, like, with the Jaws theme. And it was like, do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-
the 45s were played on uh, 45. Otherwise, the sound sound would be off. If you played a 45 on 33, then it would be. And of course, if you played a 33 on 45, it'd be. You're the one around me. You're the one around me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are the one around me. You're the one around me. You're the one around me. You are the one around me. So there you go. <laughs> so you got your low speed and your high speed. 45s and 33s and bought that. That was back in the good old days. And you had that in three different sections. You know, you had your record player, which was your mom and dad's hand-me-down. And that would play one record at a time. And usually the uh, arm that went over on the record, you'd have to tape, uh, tape some nickels on it for it to be heavy enough to hold the needle down anymore because it was such an old needle. And then, uh, if you was... Uh, if you were more higher class, you had a stereo hi-fi system. Now, the hi-fi system, you'd just stick your record over there, and it had an arm that sat there on top of it, and it'd hold stacks of records. And you could play three or four of them, maybe up to seven or something like that, and you'd just stack them records up on top of the post, and you'd run seven of them off, and, and they'd fall down, and each one of them, after they finished up, because the record had a thing that would run all the way over until the uh, um, arm, needle arm, uh, hit the end of the paper. And then whenever it did, it kicked that arm up and off of there. So it'd go back over to its resting dock. And whenever it got back over to the resting dock, the next record would fall. And, well, when the next record fell, that arm would jump on over to the start of that LP. So... Anyway, that's how that worked. That would be the uh, hi-fi system. Anyway, don't even get me started on the one before that, the old Victrola. That was a wind-up one. So if you wanted music the old way, then you had to wind it up. And talking about a record, that thing was probably a quarter of an inch thick. Whereas the... Uh, I hope I don't hit that button again. Because last time I had my hands up like this, I hit that button and got myself turned off. Had a blue light up against my belly, and then all of a sudden I had no had no sound, no um, speaking. And I don't want to do no no speaking thing again. Oh, man, I'm shoved all the way back in my chair. Ugh. Anyway, I don't even know how what time I've got on here. I think it's 13. We'll know in a few seconds because it's winding down. Man, it looks like it's going backwards almost. Boy, my eyes are all goofed up. But anyway, yeah. But I'm not going to describe anything earlier than that music-wise. To, to listen to but anyway it was a pretty good tape uh, what else was I going to talk about there was something else I was going to talk about but I don't remember what it was yep it was 13 because now we're on 14 that's a good thing because uh, I'm almost done and this muscle spasm is about to beat me to death it's just about to send me shocked all the way back in the back of this chair. And, well, I don't like it. Anyway, I can't wait to get over and get my hair cut. I'm going to have to look up at their address. Because I'm going to get over there and get my hair cut and my beard trimmed. And, well, I'll be looking pert smooth. Pert purty. You know what I'm saying? I'll be looking pert purty. With the old haircut and the old beard shaving off and everything and then my friend won't be mad at me for having 
a better beard than he do. Hey, I'm not bragging or nothing, but it did come in pretty good. Except for right here. That part right there is a little shallow. It's a little shabby. I'm longer on both sides than I am right there in the middle. And then right here under the chin. Under my bottom lip, that area is kind of thin there too, so... It's got its flaws. Anyway, hey friends, it's time for me to go, so... Goodbye, my friends, it's time to go. Yes, goodbye, my friends, it's time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Hey, this here Shenandoah Bresco saying hello and how are you? You know, God loves you and so do I. So be blessed in Jesus' name. And come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here and I hope you are too. Goodbye.